Hello everyone, this is Chris with usgalaxyS3.com. Today I'm going to root our new AT&T Samsung Galaxy S3 with a toolkit designed by Mark Skiffen. He is a senior moderator at XDA Developers. This toolkit can root your phone, install custom recovery, uh, and more. First of all, I'd like to say this has two purposes. One is for the real novice users, which I am probably just right above them. And two, it's just to show if you don't have a uh, Galaxy S3 and you're thinking about getting one, uh, it kind of gives you a little insight into what things you can do uh, with your device and how easy it is to root it at the uh, current time. Also, I'm a former infantryman, still a reservist, so I see some comments uh, on my videos saying that such and such does it better. Please don't hurt my channel by voting thumbs down. Please vote thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, as the military gave me no marketable skills, so this is what I'm doing right now. Alright, let's move right along. This uh, toolkit is about 112 uh, megabytes, uh, the download, and here it is. We're going to go ahead and run it. Tells you a little bit about what it can do. Uh, it says try not to install it in a folder, try to install it in the root. So we're going to actually install it in the D drive. Yeah, execute the program now. It makes a little shortcut to the toolkit on your desktop. I couldn't find that earlier because I had my desktop icons hidden. It doesn't make a shortcut over here, anywhere. Not sure if you can see that. Might be off the screen. So it asked me, what model and build do I have? I already have the drivers uh, installed on this phone, the proper Samsung drivers. And I've gone down to settings, developer options and I've enabled uh, USB debugging. Uh, if you don't have that checked off, you're going to have to have the uh, USB cord unplugged first and then check it and then plug the USB cord in. This program can also install uh, the drivers as you'll see when we go in here. I'm going to choose one because this is the AT&T version. It says if serial shows then drivers are installed and that means they're installed properly. Uh, we're coming up with uh, this device, so it looks like we are uh, good up to this point. If you haven't installed the drivers, go ahead and hit 1. It'll open up the driver installation. Uh, have your device booted in Android and phone unplugged, just like it says out to the side. Once it installs the drivers, it'll tell you to plug the cord back in, and it should be all good. We're going to go to number 2, routing options. And Symantec kind of intercepted that. Here we go, 2 rooting options. Alright, I'm going to go for the three, the all-in-one flash insecure boot, uh, clockwork mod recovery, uh, root the phone and install BusyBox. So number three, process will guide you through the flashing. Uh, pretty much it's going to give you everything uh, step by step and tell you what should happen uh, once you do it. It says USB debugging must be enabled and that's why I showed you a little while ago. Uh, are you ready to continue? Yes, we are. I'm going to move this over to the side because it's going to open up Odin. Now it's saying it's rebooting the phone into download mode. If anyone's wondering, this is a Zag Invisible Shield HD and a spec candy shell case. Alright, so it has loaded uh, Odin up. We have a COM port for our device right there, uh, 23 in this case. It says, make sure auto reboot and F dot reset time are ticked in Odin, and ours came like that, and nothing else. Click on the PDA button right here, and browse to Samsung Galaxy S3 Toolkit, which we installed in the D drive. And it says, go to root. And it tells you the file to do. Do boot insecure AT&T i747, that's the uh, model version, and U C A L E M is the uh, build. Clockwork mod tar, so right there. And then click open to load it. Make sure the file uh, location is displayed next to PDA, which it is, and then click start button to flash the image. If you want to see, those are the other buttons. The same boot right there. 
recovery. And reset. When the flash completes, you should see pass in the top left and the box turns green. Your phone will reboot. Exit Odin so that the toolkit can continue. So let's go ahead and exit like it said. Now it's saying waiting for the device to be detected. Notification connected as a media device. We hear the little ding, so it's connecting to the computer. Setting up root on your phone. Now push these files over. Renaming the restore recovery files if they exist. Push in BusyBox to your phone. There's also BusyBox uh, installers available uh, from the Google Play Store. It says right here that an error has occurred. We'll just go back to the main screen. So let's see what is on the device currently. We see super user right there. Let's get a program that'll test this out. I'm going to install Root Explorer. Open it up. It's requesting super user permissions. I'm going to say allow. So that means I do have uh, Root. You can uh, donate to this developer. Uh, he's helped the community out a lot by doing this. Uh, there are separate threads for each device uh, for support. Uh, it looks like he's going to keep on updating this, and there's a lot of more things that will be added. Uh, if you donate, uh, you get some extra tips and tricks. Uh, we'll be sure uh, to donate ourselves. Let's power down our device. I'm going to unplug it. To get into a custom recovery, you can hold volume up, home, and then power. It vibrated, and you'll see that little blue text right there, then the Samsung logo, and then it'll go to this. And now you can see we're in Clockwork Mod Based Recovery version 5.5.0.4. So for more information about the US versions of the Samsung Galaxy S3, please visit my site at US Galaxy S3, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and like the videos. Thank you. Makes a little tool cut on your uh, uh, sh 